What's an Indian woman to do when the white girls act more Indian than the Indians do? My tongue trips over to Conchola, mumbles around the word Mataki Aswe. My Ojibwe's been corrected by a blonde U of M undergraduate. What's an Indian woman to do? My name is Marcy Rendon, my English name. My Ojibwe name is Awanakwe. I'm originally from the White Earth Reservation, but I have lived here in the city since 1978. This stack of books and this stack of books are all books that I have something published in. I write novels, short stories. I write creative nonfiction, poetry. I write the lyrics for songs for classical composers. I mean, what I say is I'll write anything that pays. Um, because part of what I've done is I have made my living since 1990 as a writer. And so it really does mean that if a writing opportunity comes to me, I'll take it. Murder on the Red River, which, where's Murder on the Red River? So this one is my novel that came out in 2017. I had had this whole career as a, working as a counselor and a therapist, but I decided that I would be a writer. And so I spent a year just really writing and it kind of took off from there. Okay. I'm a parent and a grandparent. And so for the majority of my life, I have always had other people around me who are dependent on me, who I need to somehow interact with and take care of. And so my writing process happens a lot inside my brain where you can be talking to me and I can be, yeah, 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 but really I'm writing a story in my head. <laughs> and so then by the time I get to the computer, I can actually just sit down and write it out because I've just been working it and working it and working it. So my book, Murder on the Red River, won the Pinkley Award for 2018 for debut women's crime novel of the year. With the crime, my topics seem to cover women, children, resiliency, the power of who we are as Native people. And the other thing that I always am trying to do in my writing is to present present day images, thoughts of who we are as Native people. I think that there's so much oppression in the Native community that reading the crime novels, there's always some kind of resolution, that there's a crime that happens, there's a character who is incredibly resilient, and she, and she helps solve the crime. Olivia's my nine-year-old granddaughter. She's enrolled at Leech Lake. She's an amazing mathematician. So I have 12 grandchildren. The oldest are two are 22, the youngest is two years old. And a lot of them are artists. Encouraging them to do the talents that they have in whatever form and shape that that takes and trying to show them that they could do anything and be their own people. You can do this, you can get on stage, you can direct, you can dance. It's like there's no limit to what is possible for us as Native people. Whatever it is you wanna do, do it. <laughs>